Patrick, uh, thanks for joining us today. No real big surprises, but we do now know what we can look at uh, for the November general election. Let's start with District 7. Last night on our air, uh, Representative Tom Malinowski said all eyes will be on his race with Tom Kane Jr. Is he right about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is one of those top targets that Republicans have for picking up a seat in uh, 2022 nationwide, not just here in New Jersey. This is one of the top targets in the country. Uh, part of it is because it was a very close race in 2020, um, and this is a rematch between Tom Kane and Tom Malinowski. Uh, so they're looking at that, but they're also looking at a district that has changed because of redistricting and to become a little friendlier to Republicans. Uh, so this is going to make it a you know a very tough hill uh, for Malinowski to to hold on to this seat right now because of the way that uh, this district looks. Is he the only Democrat endangered heading into the general election? Well, you can't say you can't say never about anything right now. Uh, it's 2022 is right now shaping up to be a bad year for Democrats. Uh, you know, they are the party in power, they're the party in White House. So you always expect them to lose seats. But right now, the president is very unpopular. Democrats. Um, in, in many cases are, are, are divided uh, between uh, progressive views and, and more moderate views. And uh, that plays into the kind of swing voter or independent voter, even though there are a few of them around. But it's about enthusiasm. And Republicans have a lot more enthusiasm, which means folks like uh, Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, Congressman Josh Gottheimer, Andy Kim have friendlier districts because of redistricting, putting more Democrats in their district. That doesn't mean they're out of the woods yet. Yeah, I mean, it almost seems, Patrick, like uh, we could be looking at uh, the same districts we did in 2018 uh, when they were flipped, or 2016, that is, when they were flipped blue. You mentioned Josh Gottheimer, 5th District. DiGregorio did concede to Frank Pallotta. It looks like those two will be the match in November. What do you make of that race? Well, I think Gottheimer got exactly what he wanted. In fact, what his backers wanted, because they were putting out independent expenditures on behalf of Frank Pallotta. So uh, Gottheimer's gotten the opponent he wanted, an opponent who is much more strongly aligned with Donald Trump than uh, the more establishment uh, contender there, who is Nick Gregorio. That means that, you know, Gottheimer's feeling a little easier in the sense of that he knows what his strategy is going to be. He's going to paint Pallotta as being too far uh, to the right, too far in Trump's camp in particular for this district, which has become a lot more uh, like those uh, bluish suburban districts that we saw flip in 2018. Was there any big takeaway for you last night, aside from I think we should have had a drinking game for the amount of times we talked about having the party line? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the party line was was really important, even uh, in places like, for example, we just talked about the 5th District. Uh, you know, the 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 line went to, to Gregorio, but Pilata was really smart in Bergen County running a full slate uh, of his own with a with a slogan that looked very similar in, in Bergen to the to the county line. So some folks may have been confused by that as well as the independent spending. But let's take, uh, you know, another place where there was a bit of an upset, which is in the 11th District where the Morris County Commissioner uh, Typhoon Selen uh, was edged out by Paul DeGroote. Paul DeGroote has a small part of that district because he's from uh, Passaic County. He's a Passaic County uh, prosecutor there. And he just wiped the slate clean in Passaic County. And that allowed him, where he was competitive in the other parts of the district, to completely overtake what had been considered the front runner in that race. All right. Patrick Murray, Monmouth University Institute Director of Public Polling, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.